Hi, this is Steve. This is a mindfulness meditation that I do personally for myself and I also do during my um, seminars and events to stretch the team's imagination. To stretch it so when we go back into our other meeting, we're not thinking in a lack, lack luster sort of way. We're thinking very abundantly. So I call it the billion dollar walking meditation which I just made up because I don't really put a name to it because name doesn't matter a lot of times so as I'm walking I might see this leaf right here this small little leaf and I might say that's a billion dollar industry what what's involved with that growing of trees I think about this leaf and and think about what's involved with this people cleaning up leaves um, landscapers trees growing farming um, maybe that's made for some potpourri and that goes into stores and billions and billions of dollars all surrounded in that energy and leading that in many different directions you see the cigarette right here I think sanitation and then I think Wow, how many how many cigarettes do they smell? <laughs> how many cigarettes do they sell a year? How many people are involved in in jobs for that? How much money is that? Um, how much money are the places where this tobacco that is coming from? How much money are they making? How does that keep a lot of people a lot of people happy in those in those places? How many people are involved in this? How many how much how many packs a day does the average smoker smoke? How much does that cost? How many pension plans and all that different stuff is that is that providing for and funding? Then I look at this road that was just redone and I think about how much that costs, how many people did that employ, and I'm also thinking how many roads are all over this city? How many roads that are paved like this are all over the world? How much money is that? How much of that money goes to the livelihoods of us? How much do we have to be taxed in order to generate that revenue for all these different roads? I see this, this gum that's been here on the sidewalk for a while and I think, how long has this, this gum been there? And I was like, who's paid to clean this up? And I'm thinking of, of on the front end of how much, peop how much gum people chew on a daily basis how much gum is sold and then I think on the other end of that as far as cleaning it up and I and I think of how much that is and how much gum is cleaned up over a time period and how many people are involved in that and how much money that is generating just by that one piece of gum and several pieces of gum and more and more and millions and millions of pieces of gum all over the world billions of pieces of gum all over the world how much is involved and how much chewing that is. As I'm walking I see this sign and I think about all the signs and the sign companies and how many signs they make and how many sign companies there are all over the world making signs and then I think of this is the college area and there's a college around here and think about how much tuition costs and how many students are at that college and how many students are all over the world and how much tuition they're paying and how many salaries that is for the people on staff and how much the extension and you can get caught up in a lot of this and there's a lot of ex expenses but you can also look at it and say there's tons of money out there there's tons of abundance out there I can't listen to what the mainstream media is telling me because there's tons and there's lots and lots of abundance out there how can we get our hands on it? How can we be part of this flow? Then as I'm walking right here, I might see this construction truck. See this construction truck out here and see them working on there. Earlier they had a crane that was going up towards this building. So I'm thinking of, because of the construction, lots of buildings are made, houses are made. And how many houses are around town? How much does a house cost? How much of the upkeep for that house does that cost on a monthly basis? The banks are, are loaning mortgages to people. Extensions and extensions, extensions. If you don't think any money's out there. And then right now, 
I see this bus and I think about how many people are driving that bus, how many people are involved in, in that bus company behind the scenes, how many people are involved in putting that transportation. That's a whole industry. How many people are involved in the whole transportation realm? Airplanes and many different things. How much money is it taking to put that together? How much does an airplane cost? How many airplanes are there? Imagine this. After that, and you're able to go into a meeting of creating abundance, creating more money. Do you think you would be caught up in the little things that a lot of times in a corporation people are caught up in do that go for a walk with one of your business partners go to, for a walk with the group and start to think abundantly even if you get outside it's going to change the dynamics of the meeting I'm Steve Jones and I hope you find this valuable then I, then I just saw some bikes uh, riding by and I think about um, the bike racks I think about how much they cost these are 10 speed bikes I, I think about how many bikes are there in China I think about all these different things as far as the way that bikes are used how many tires they sell how many different bike races and how many sponsors sponsor those bike races and how much energy is I have no idea what I'm talking about